Praise the Lord. Child of God, we want to thank God for the gift of life and we want to welcome you to exhortations unto prayer this evening. We thank God for his mercies and for his loving kindness and we trust that as we spend some time together praying, the Lord will visit us in a special way. Just want to share with you briefly from Psalm 46 verse 10. It says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is, is made a statement. Psalm 46 is one of the most beautiful psalms. It's a psalm of encouragement. It's a psalm that talks to us about God's power. It's a psalm that talks to us about the fact that the Lord is strong, He's mighty, and the forces of nature cannot, cannot in any way impede His will and cannot thwart His purposes over our lives. In this particular verse, the Lord made a certain important statement and I think that every child of God must receive that particular word into your spirit. It's a blessing. Just get it again and I'm going to read it again. You know, the psalm begins this way. The Lord is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be moved and the mountains are moved into the sea, even though the seas are raging and the storms are rising up, even though the sun is refusing to give a light and the moon refuses to shine, it begins to describe a very chaotic situation and it says that in the midst of all this, child of God, he says, be still and know I am God. Then he continued by this, making this statement, and that is the most important statement that I want to dwell on and I want to use to encourage you this very evening as we rise unto prayer. It says, I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Now, this is a statement that God is making. It says that I know what is going on, and that psalm was describing a situation where it is very difficult, it will be very difficult for any human being to remain calm. It will be very difficult when you see the mountains moving and the storms raising and describing very chaotic situation and environment. And he says in the midst of this, be still. Why is he saying be still? He says, because I will be exalted. I will be exalted in the earth. It doesn't matter the storms. It doesn't matter the dangerous things that are happening. It doesn't matter the difficult things you are seeing. It doesn't matter the chaos that is surrounding you. In the midst of all this, the Lord says, at the end of it, I, the Lord God, I will be exalted. What it means is that the forces of nature cannot overpower him. Not everyone goes to war and can tell you that at the end of the day, I will be exalted. Many go to war believing and hoping that they will survive. But this is God who is saying that I can see what is going on. I can imagine and I can see what is going on in your own life. I can see the distraction and the chaos that is surrounding you. But in the midst of it and at the end of it, or I, the Lord, I will be exalted. You know, it brings to mind what we call the doctrine of providence. See, miracle is when God stops natural law he intervenes into nature to do what he wants to do to save a situation when god is creating a miracle he's coming to, of course doing something which is miraculous what is happening is that he is stopping the laws of nature and then he will he will intervene and he will perform something but sometimes god decides not to perform a miracle this one is called providence he allows the negative things that are happening to happen and he uses all of them together but the end of the day, when everything is, when all those things that are happening, that appears to be chaotic and destructive, have finished happening, you realize that something beautiful has come out of it. That is providence. And for me, that is even greater than a miracle. Because he does not step into nature to stop the laws of nature, to thwart the laws of nature. He allows everything that is happening to happen. But he says, at the end of the day, I will be exalted. That is what the Apostle Paul meant when he said that all things work together for good. 
when terrible things are happening, at the end of the day, all the negative things, the things that seem to be negative, they will all work together for your good. It is called providence. And that is what God is saying, that I am huge. I am big. Bigger than my creation. And bigger than any force on the face of the earth. No matter what is going on around you, and no matter what you are seeing with your eyes, no matter what you are hearing with your ears, he says that when everything is over, and when all is done, I, the Lord, I will be exalted. In your life too, whatever storms are going on, in your life too, whatever doubt and, and fears and disappointment are going on, they have started, the, the storms may be welling up, you may, you may be on the verge of being afraid and being captured by fear. He says, be still, know that I am God. Why? Because when the storms are over, you will realize, if you can trust me, if you be still, you will see that I, the Lord, I will be exalted. I came to exhort you. I came to encourage you, child of God. I came to encourage you that the God you are serving is the God that can get himself exalted and glorify his name even with the terrible things that you appear to be seeing in your life. I will be exalted. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what you are seeing. I don't know what you are hearing. But this word is what I want you to put into your spirit. And anytime you see them coming to you, remind yourself of them. God says, it doesn't matter what is coming at me. It doesn't matter what I am hearing. It doesn't matter what I am seeing. When all is said and done, he says, I will be exalted. I will be exalted in the earth. I will be exalted in the nations. In the same way, he will be exalted in your life. He will be exalted in that situation. By the time the story is over, when we are writing it all, it will be God being exalted. It will be God being lifted up. We will just sit and ask ourselves and find out how did he do it. We will say that this is the doing of the Lord. It is marvelous in our eyes. When the children of Israel were released from captivity and they were coming back, they sang a song. They said, when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. We were like them that dream. We were like them that dream. Because it is so surprising. We never believed it was possible that by this time we are returning. We are coming back. But the Lord has done it. Therefore, the nation shall say that the Lord has done great things for them. That shall be your story also. If only you will be still and know that he is God, you will see that he will be exalted in your life. This evening, it is the season, it is the moment, the, the period in which we are, a period that can make you so sick, the period that can make you begin to worry and begin to doubt whether your God is with you. But this is what he's telling you, be still. Know I am God. Because when it is over, I the Lord, I will be exalted. If you want to see the Lord exalted, if you want to see him lifted up in your life, in your house, in your business, in your family, anything and anywhere, any aspect of your life, he says, be still. Know that I am God. If you do so, I will be exalted in the earth. I will be exalted in your life. I will be exalted in your family. I will be exalted in your marriage. I will be exalted at home. I will be exalted everywhere you want me to be exalted. If you are still knowing, acknowledging that I am God. This evening, child of God, if you will be still and know he is God, when all is said and done, your God will be exalted. God bless you. Rise up even as we enter in this season of prayer. Hallelujah. I know that I, I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Child of God, we are coming through this moment with you to pray with you. We just heard the word of God from Pastor Andy. And we have been admonished to ensure that we keep our posture and be still for the Lord who see us through. Our first prayer is that we are going to pray for God to endow in us the character of prayer. You see, there is this character that we need to post out to the world to know that we know a God who is able to keep his people. And this moment we are going to pray for that character, that character to trust God, that character to live fearless, that character to know that there is a so God who is able to keep his own and he will not cause us to fall, snail into the hands of the wicked. He will keep us from falling. We are going to pray to God and thank God for the word that he has given to us. And after that, we will pray for God to endow in us that character that we need to be able to stand in this time. Can you pray with me? We want to thank you, gracious Father, oh God, for the insight of your word. The Bible said the entrance of your word gives us understanding to the simple. We are praying, oh God, thanking you for the beauty of your word that you have enshrined through your son and your servant. And he has given to us this very moment. We know that you are the God that keeps your own from falling. You are the God that keeps us through the things and the difficult times of life. You are the God that sustains your own. You 
you are the God that keeps us going. When the storms keep rolling, you keep us together. The other day when the disciples were walking on the surface of the earth and the sea was tumbling and the waves moving here and there and when the disciples were troubled, you stood up and you said, be still. And the waters and the wave and the wind were all quiet. We are praying, trusting you, oh God, for these great works in this moment that in this moment of COVID-19, we know that you will continue to keep us. You will keep us from falling. No matter what the devil does, we will stand. We want to thank you, oh God, for what you are doing and what you have done in the midst of us. Many nations are terrified in this moment, but Father, you are not moved any inch. You are still God and in your Godship, you reign in your capacity. We want to thank you, oh God, that you have come continue to keep us. We want to thank you for your sustainers. We want to thank you for keeping us. We want to thank you for the nations, for the church and the diaspora and all the good things that you have done for us. We thank you. We glorify you. Father, we are praying for the character to be able to live in this time. This is the time that men will be able to keep their posture and if they know your word, they will be able to know that you are God that keeps us. The Bible said in the books of uh, in the books of John chapter 15 that you are a good shepherd and in that shepherd life, you take your flock up and you bring them back home. We are praying God that in your shepherd hand you will keep us from falling. That in your shepherding hand you will keep us safe. That in your shepherding hand your staff will comfort us. That we will not fail oh God play to the enemy. That in this time we will co- co- keep on keeping our posture. And the character that you are giving to us will help us to know you trust in you. Be fearless and know that you are the God who solely is able to keep your people from falling. Father we thank you. We glorify your name. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ that let grace abound even as you keep us in this moment give us the posture to be able to stand give us the character to be able to stand give us the grace to be able to stand that no matter what happens no matter the waves no matter the terror may we not be moved but may we keep posture and may we keep our focus on you may nothing take us out of your presence oh God and may we never be endowed in any way with fear but father in all our standing may we be confident to say that the lord will see us through in the name of jesus christ our next prayer child of god is that we are going to pray to god that god who is the god who is keeping us in this times and this period he is the god who is able to keep us in that character that god the bible said according to the word we just meant, we just heard from pastor andy in the books of psalm 46 the Bible said we should keep our posture, we should be still. We are praying God to help us to be able to show forth the power of God in the world. Child of God, you and I have God inside us. And the only way that the world can see that we have God inside us is that we must prove to God that we know him. We are praying to God that God give us the confidence to be able to stand in this time and may we not be moved in fear but may the power of God be manifested all around us. Can we pray with us in the name of Jesus Christ? Father, we are praying in the name of Jesus Christ, trusting you for the potency of your power. The Bible says at the said mention of the name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is God. We are praying our God and our Father that Father caused the world to know that you are God. In this moment when physicians don't know what to do when medical doctors don't know what to do this is the time we need you oh god to show forth your power that the world we know that you are the god yesterday you are the god today and you will make god forevermore and your potency is as potent as never before we are praying oh god our father and our king that let your hand of pity be able to lick it up let your hand of victory be able to lift us up when we are down broken to end may we be put together when we are shy and we are strong apart may we be put together when we are teaching and we don't know what to go may we be shown your direction god let grace abound for nation let grace abound for ghana let grace abound for all people who don't know what to do and even nations that are troubling so much with this COVID 19 we are praying oh god that father you make a way where there seems to be no way you make a way where there seems to be no way that you are calling us to be still for you will see us through just as the psalmist said that god will see us through and he will exalt himself among nations let nations hear your name god let nations know that you are god let nations know that you are the same yesterday today and forevermore and you continue to reign in your capacity as god and nothing can be compared to that we want to glorify your name in the name of jesus christ we pray our final prayer we are going to pray this final prayer and in this period we are going to tell god specific things 
what specific things are we going to be telling God at this moment? We are going to tell God that he should manifest his healing in these times. It has been proven ever since this disease came to confront nations that there have not been any cure or no vaccination have yet been gotten. It means that the strife of Jesus Christ which was being prophesied by Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 53, that in that Christ we are healed. We are going to charge God to manifest that healing power to us. All nations together, we are praying together that God, in this moment where we don't know what to do, in this moment where we don't know what can cure this disease, we don't know what can cure this virus, this pandemic, we don't know what to do, God, may we witness the healing power of you coming through for us, delivering us in all dimensions. Can we pray? Can you pray with me? The other day when you were walking and the Bible makes us understand that a widow was coming out of a city with his child. The Bible said, and when you saw them, you had compassion and you touched the coffin and they stood and you called the boy back into life. You are the God that is able to heal. You are the God that brings back death people into life. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ, so God, the Father cause your healing power to meet nations, cause your healing power to encounter nations, cause your healing power to enter everywhere, and let your healing power be manifested in the name of Jesus Christ, so God. You are the God, our healer. You are the God, our deliverer. You are the God, our shepherd. You are the keeper of the brethren. You are the owner of the church, the keeper of nations. All nations together are in your hands. You exist in your capacity as God. You are the God that exists on your own. And you do as so you desire. And out of it, you bring glory to yourself. The Bible says, at the end, all things will go together for our good. We are praying for nations, so God, that Father, let your healing hit every nation. That it will work together for our good. That men will know that God is the same yesterday. That this God is the same today. That this God is the same forevermore. That as which was as he was those days, so is he now. As he was able to heal people those days, so is he able to heal them. The Bible makes us understand, oh God, that even the disciples could manifest this power of healing to a couple who was born crippled. And the Bible said when they encountered him, he wanted something from them. And the Bible said they looked through into his eye and they gave to him what they had. And the Bible said he told him that what I have, I give to you. That in the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. The Bible said as he called him out, he stood up a man who has never walked before he walked because he encountered the healing power of Jesus. We are praying for our brothers and sisters who may be affected or infected with that this disease and they are lying anywhere. We are lifting up prayer for all of them. That God, that you are the healing, oh God, that we know men may try, but you are the healer. We are praying, oh God, that Father, let your healing be met to them in the name of Jesus Christ, that they will know that you are the God, our healer. We are praying for all nations. We are praying for all countries. We are praying for everybody, even men that are walking and they have not yet been infected. Father, let the groves of your protection and go around them that we will be secure in this world. And when all shall end, we shall sing hallelujah praise to God and say that indeed this God who has informed us and encouraged us that we should be still, he is indeed able to keep his own. May your name be glorified, our God. May your name be exalted. Exalt yourself among nations and you exalt yourself in the air that men will know that you are God. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.